come back to the channel and this lab is just recently updated and in this video i'm going to show you the simplest way to complete this lab so first of all just log in with your credentials and once i'm done with this just simply come back over here and just simply activate your cloud shell it will take a couple of seconds so just wait for that meanwhile in description box i will share one github link just simply click on that link and then you are able to access this document now i request you please use your online notepad do not use your personal notepad now what you have to do just simply come back to the lab instructions click on the task number two and from here just simply copy this region so just copy this region carefully make sure that you do not copy any extra space just copy the region like this way now come back over here and here you can see change region so just simply select that and paste now just simply select over here and paste and make sure that after equal to there is no extra space just make sure of that thing okay now what you do just copy all this command just copy all this command okay come back over here paste and hit enter just wait for a second and then click on authorize now just wait for to this command get execute and once it's done you are done with the 90 percent of this lab
and it's finally done now if we just simply come back to the live instruction and click on the check my progress for task number one task number two and task number three you will get a score without any issue now for the last task what you have to do just simply come back over here click on the task number five just simply scroll down and from here just simply copy this cloud armor just copy this thing carefully just copy that just simply search over here open this thing new tab come back over here wait for a second and then click on create policy now here please pay attention for the name just scroll down and from here just copy this name just copy this name paste over here then choose allow like this now just scroll down then click on next step now click on this add rule like this now if you just simply scroll down and here you can see match now here you have to just simply give the external ip so for that just simply come back to the dashboard and here you can see external ip just copy this external ip carefully like this way come back over here and just simply paste over here like this okay the action must be denied and response time must be 403 okay now for the priority just simply type thousand like this way and then click on done now again just simply click on this next step then click on this add target then click over here and from here just simply choose the http backend like this then click on next step and then done and then click on create policy just wait for a second and it's done now what you have to do just simply search for the vm instance open this thing in new tab come back over here wait for a second now and here you can see segi vm like this just simply click on this segi vm you have to just simply click on the sss button of the segi vm just simply click over here wait for a second now now click on authorize now what you have to do just simply scroll up and from here you can see this three task okay so first of all just copy this command just copy this command sudo command just copy that just simply run over here okay now what you have to do you have to export a load balancer ip so just simply copy this thing carefully like this way copy that paste over here now just simply come back over here and just simply search for the load balancer just simply click over here wait for a second and then click on this name and from here just simply copy this first ip just copy that come back over here and paste make sure that there is no extra space after equal to and hit enter okay now again just simply scroll down then copy this and just simply paste the last command now if you just simply scroll down and click on the check my progress of task number five you will get a score without any issue and if you are not able to get a score no need to worry just wait for a couple of minutes and again click on the check my progress you will get a score for sure and that's the way we had to complete this lab i hope you guys like the way i solved this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me know in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys